everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I am going to do something very very fun. Um, you can probably see already I have a lot of Chanel fragrances in front of me and I am going to go through this collection today. I will share of course my thoughts on each of the fragrances, all of the different notes and yeah, explain to you how these fragr fragrances smell to me personally, which ones I like best, which ones I don't like so much. So I'm gonna be very honest and maybe I will even do a little, you know, gift guide depending on, you know, the age of the person you want to gift or yeah, the preferences basically. So, let's jump right into it, shall we? So, in front of us, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine <laughs> Chanel fragrances. Maybe another note <laughs> in the beginning is that I do not own all of these fragrances. My lovely mother has an extensive perfume collection with a lot of really lovely things and I borrowed basically most of today's perfumes in order to make this video. So let's start with the absolute Chanel classic. This is basically, when you think of Chanel perfume, this is probably the first thing that comes to your mind. It has been around for over a hundred years now. The first creation was in 1921 and Ernest Bow actually created the first version of it. And you probably can tell which perfume it is already. I am of course talking about the iconic Chanel number no. 5. Please focus. It's such a lovely bottle. It's quite new and hasn't been used as much as you can see. Of course, this is also the new formula. However, I also have a vintage version of it, which is probably over 20 years old by now, honestly. And bear with me, it's not. It doesn't look as pretty because, of course, as I just said, it is the vintage version and it's also almost empty. But yeah. We have those two and I also have the Eau de Toilette of the Chanel number no. 5, which is also quite new as you can see. So let me just go through the basic Eau de Parfum Chanel number no. 5. So in my opinion, maybe before I go into all of the different notes, in my opinion this is a scent that is very much for mature women. I would probably even say 50 plus, of course it depends on your personal style and taste, but in my opinion you have to basically earn it to wear it and if if I would like wear it outside I would feel like I haven't earned the right to wear this perfume in a sense, so I do like the scent but not on me, not, not at this stage in my life at least. So I believe you have to have some wisdom and life experience to, yeah, and to wear this perfume. It is a very powdery, woody, maybe even a bit soapy scent. And a lot of people say it smells like a grandmother, probably because their grandmother had used this perfume when they were younger. That's what the smell reminds them of. But in my opinion, it's just a very classical scent that is not only made for old people, basically. And I think it's beautiful. I really do. It is such a classic. It's just so elegant, like most of the Chanel um, perfumes are. In the top notes we have Aldehydes, we have Ylang Ylang, we have Neroli, Bergamot and Lemon. In the middle notes we have Iris, we have Jasmine, we have Rose, Orris Root, Lily of the Valley. And in the base notes we have Civet, Musk, Amber, Sandalwood, Moss, Vanilla, 
vertebra and patchouli. So <laughs> it's a lot of different notes in here, but honestly, I think I could, like you could show me this perfume while I was asleep at 3 a.m. and ask me what it was, and I would immediately know. Let me check if I can tell any difference to the vintage version. I have to take care because the, the opening is a bit different, so it's not like to spray. Honestly, let me just spray a little bit. I can tell a difference, but that could probably be because this has had its fair share of oxygen already, whereas this has not. So I cannot say if it's really the formula that is different or, you know, but it doesn't really matter because you might be able to get a vintage version secondhand, but they don't produce this anymore, I think. So I also, as I just said, have the Eau de Toilette version here. And in my opinion, let me just check. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit less intense. It's less powdery. It's more woody, I would say, and I think that you could wear the Eau de Toilette a lot more every day in the daytime, so if you go to the office, grocery shopping or wherever, I think this is still suitable. Where I feel as the number no. 5 Eau de Parfum is much more for special occasions or evening time because it's so intense. I mean, that's just my opinion. I also feel like that this is more wearable even if you are younger because it is less intense, so it's a less potent version. So if you're younger and you still want to wear Chanel number no. 5, maybe opt for the Eau de Toilette first. But I still feel you would have to be like in your late 20s, early 30s to wear this. It's just my opinion, okay? Next up, we have another Chanel classic. And it is the beautiful Chanel number no. 19. A fun fact about this is that it is basically a tribute to the birthday of Coco Chanel. Do you know when her birthday is? It's the 19th of August. So technically 1883, but what I love about it is Coco Chanel was a Leo, and I'm a Leo too, so I feel like that's just... I love that. I don't know, I love that because she very much, I feel like, has a Leo personality, you know, so very strong-willed, and just, uh, I love it. Okay, let's get back to the perfume, shall we? I experienced this... I experienced this as a... Is a very fresh scent. It's very, it's very green. I mean, you can also already tell by the bottle that it's a very green scent. And honestly, it reminds me like of green leaves. <laughs> maybe spring, maybe summer. But I think you could still wear it in the winter because. You know, when there's a lot of snow outside, how it is right now in Munich, it's insane, by the way. We have like half a meter of snow, which hasn't happened in years, maybe since I was a child, it's insane. I think you could even wear it in winter because it's like a very crisp scent, if you know what I mean. It might be too green or too woody for some people. Me, myself, I also like a bit more powdery and sweet scents. However, I do think that it's a very sophisticated perfume and I can imagine, like, I can see myself wearing this in like 5 to 10 years, probably more like 10, but it's so beautiful. I cannot say anything against this perfume. Uh, I, it's not like I feel like I have to earn the right to wear it, it's more like I feel like my taste will change more in that direction as I like, as I get older, as I progress in my wisdom. So yeah, I think it's very, very beautiful. And also, again, very classy, like most Chanel fragrances. <clears throat> Let's continue 
with my absolute, absolute, absolute favorite Chanel perfume of all times, which if you have seen my other perfume videos, you already know it. It's the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, but the intense version. So when I was younger, I had a dupe of the Coco Mademoiselle, which smelled basically the same. People even asked me on the street, like, is this Coco Mademoiselle? <laughs> so, not on the street, but my friends, whatever. Um, I love this because I feel like the Coco Mademoiselle is a very young scent. So it is very much playful and sweet and like the good girl perfume, I would say, whereas the Intense, it has a bit more depth to it, I feel like. It has a bit more of a character to it and, oh my god, every time I smell this, it smells so rich. Like, it smells so rich and classy and it's like, I feel like a woman who loves to experience life and loves to be with her friends but still be glamorous and stuff so I feel like that's what it smells like and I have been complimented on this perfume a couple of times and also <laughs> people have told me they smelled this like somewhere on the tube or um, just being in the city and they told me I immediately had, had to think of you when I smelled this so this is my second bottle already and it's my signature scent. So honestly, if you are looking for a Christmas present for somebody 25 and up, I would say, honestly, I think you could wear this even younger. If you're looking for a Christmas present, this is the perfume from Chanel at least that you're looking for because I feel like a lot of people will love this scent because it's not too sweet, it's not overbearing. But it's still, it's just beautiful, it's lovely, it's so floral and oh, powdery, but let me give you the notes. So in the top notes we have Sicilian orange, Calabrian bergamot and lemon. In the middle notes we have rose and jasmine. And in the base notes we have patchouli, vanilla, tonka bean, white musk and lepthenum resin. resin. I, I, I still don't know how to pronounce that. Oh my god, I love this perfume so much. It's ridiculous. It's so beautiful. Okay, <laughs> let's continue, shall we? The next one would be the Chanel Allure Sensuelle. As I said before, these perfumes are not all mine. So this one is from my mother. And it is a very warm warm, spicy, woody, powdery scent, I would say. In my opinion, it's a bit nauseating, to be honest. Like, it's not... I don't like it very much. So, it's not totally my taste. It's a bit woody and bitter somehow, and also it's so intense and potent, and I feel like you could never ever wear this to the office because this is a scent that a lot of people will find too much overbearing nauseating. So it's very much more of a special occasion scent and I feel like it's a bit more niche than for example Chanel number no. 19 or like the Coco Mademoiselle. But if you do like these types of scents, then honestly, maybe give it a shot because then it might be perfect for you. Let me give you the notes. So in here we have, in the top notes, patchouli, we have pink pepper, which you can tell the pink pepper, it's very intense. Peach, mandarin orange and bergamot. In the middle notes you have Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, iris, jasmine and dried fruits. And in the base notes you have patchouli, vanilla, spices, sandalwood, vertebrae, labdanum, lavender and amber. <laughs> very quickly. Yeah, n not entirely up my valley. Also, I feel like it's a bit of an older perfume. I wouldn't wear this under 45, maybe 40, because it's it's quite heavy, honestly. But if you like that, more power to you. Try it. Next one up, we have 
one of my other favorites. So honestly, these two are my favorites. And of course, look at this gorgeous bottle. I am talking about the Coco Chanel Coco Noir. Chanel Coco Noir, the, that way. And this perfume is just... Oh my god, it is so beautiful. It reminds me a bit of the Coco Mademoiselle Intense, but also very good. So this is a bit more warm, spicy, woody, citrusy. And honestly, I feel like this is a very sexy, dark perfume that you can wear in the evening. And I feel like just as the flacon and the name noir, which is black in French, I feel like you could wear all black outfits with this. You could wear this to a bar in the evening. You can wear this to festive parties now in December um, or maybe even into January. New Year's Eve, Christmas, I think it's very, very versatile, honestly. And I think you could wear this at any age above 25, probably, so I don't think I would have liked this very much when I was 20. Because this is something that you develop a bit later in your womanhood, let's say. But it's very nice, it's so beautiful, and honestly, just having this flacon standing around is just such a decoration, honestly. Look at how gorgeous it is. Oh my god. In the top notes we have grapefruit, bergamot and orange. In the middle notes we have rose, geranium, jasmine, narcissus, peach. And in the base notes we have patchouli, sandalwood, olibanum, tonka bean, vanilla, white musk, cloves and benzoin. So... Mmm. I just want to lie in it. I sprayed something here and here too, so maybe let's just do it on the back of my hand. Oop. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Can nothing can say nothing against it. Okay, now let's move on to the little perfumes that I have in the front. So one of them, this is the vintage version of the Chanel number no. 19. It's also the smaller version and again it doesn't have like a spray thing but it, you open it and again like it has the same like kind of vibe to it as the Chanel number no. 5 vintage version where I can't tell if it's the formula that's different or if it has just add out a bit. So Still beautiful, still very nice, and we also have a very, very small version of the uh, of the Chanel Cristal. It doesn't want to focus. Okay, yeah. So this is also probably quite old, and it's just four milliliters, and I don't like it very much. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty, it's beautiful, but it's very, like strong and uh, let me just give you the the notes very quickly we have in the top notes citruses fruity notes in the middle notes honeysuckle and hyacinth and in the base notes we have iris and jasmine but I feel like I I can I can see why they called it crystal because it's like very I feel like it smells a bit like alcohol honestly I don't know. it's it's just very strong and it's very floral but it's not it's not my up my valley and I can't even see myself wearing this in a couple of years. It's just not my not my vibe. Okay, we have come to the end of this video. Hi, however, before I conclude this whole thing, I just wanted to give you a little extra. Let's just say that. In the beginning of this video, I talked about that Ernest Bow created the first version of the Chanel number no. 5 and I actually have something that is not Chanel but that the same perfumer, perfumer? <laughs> you know what I mean, also created which is the Cobaco from Parfum Bourgeois Paris and it looks like this. I think it's very beautiful, like I love the bottle. It looks very vintage which I like. 
it's very musky, I feel like, and powdery, and it smells oriental to me, but honestly, you know what? I can see, like, I can tell that it was the same person who, who did those, because they do smell, in the slightest way, they do smell similar to me, personally, so... If you like Chanel number no. 5, you might like this one as well. So the main accords are white floral, animalic, musky, aldehydic, powdery, fresh, floral, amber, citrus and cinnamon. Interesting. So, And in the top notes we have aldehyde, cinnamon, citruses, middle notes are jasmine, lily, iris, magnolia, rose and gardenia. And in the base notes we have civet, ambages and musk. So yeah, very oriental, very beautiful. A little tip if you like Chanel number no. five or you know someone who likes Chanel number no. five this might be a good present this might be a good present okay but my two favorites as I already said without a doubt Chanel Noir and Coco Mademoiselle Intense I also like the not intense version but I feel like that's before you turn 25 and after you turn 25 you kind of have to go with the intense my opinion but that concludes the Chanel perfume collection 2023. I hope I can make a new Chanel perfume collection 2024 next year. And I hope there will be more Chanel fragrances in this collection. There's a lot more lovely, yeah fragrances from Chanel that I would love to try. That concludes it. If you want another collection video, please let me know. The next one I have thought about doing would be a Zara perfume collection because I feel like they do have very affordable perf perfumes which can smell really lovely and I feel like it has become, become like a trend to buy fragrances in Zara and that might also be a more affordable gift option if you don't want to spend on a big uh, Chanel perfume bottle. So yeah, I will do that next, I think. If you have any other ideas, please com uh, comment down below. If you liked this video or if it helped you in any way, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. With that being said, thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!